I have created the absolute craziest pendulum deck I've ever witnessed in my life. Thank you so much for the balance. Thank you so much for Konami for allowing these cards to be legal all at the same time. But let me just tell you guys that the strudel with needle fiber is an absolute problem. And I'm going to showcase you guys Synchro Pendulums, the deck that is the only deck I could possibly think of that rivals Chaos Thunder, where it just plays through like 19 interruptions like it's nothing and just breaks through any single board. I could probably OTK through six negates. So you guys ready for this absolutely incredible video? And I honestly, I truly believe is the best way to to play Pendulums. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 60,000 subscribers. Make sure also guys to smash the like button. Comment down below which version of Pendulum you guys want to see next. And lastly, go check out TripGaming.com to get the most beautiful playmats in the game. Also, Patreon, if you want to get better at the game. Let's get started, boys. This deck's truly absurd. Like, it truly is absurd. You guys are going to witness it right now, and it doesn't matter. Like, no, it's impossible, absolutely impossible to brick. Now, I'm facing a new version of Luna Light here, which is with some of the new cards that are coming out soon. You guys are, aren't going to see it. I don't even know what the new cards are, but it's an OTK version of this deck, which is really cool. You look at my hand. This is just an average hand for this deck. This looks crazy, but... It's really just an average hand for this deck. And you guys are going to witness the true insanity of this deck very shortly. Very shortly. So we're going to activate the fact here. Yeah, so we're playing Sword Soul Pendulums. But the, with the addition of Destrudo, like if, if my Yo Moye was Valor there, we go Dragon Shrine. And we do full Needle Fiber Oridon combo. And we just end on so much insane combos at the... Like this, this deck... This deck is just so beautiful. This deck is so beautiful, man. It, it's just so absolutely absurd. Uh, so here what we're going to do is we're still playing it kind of safely. Here we're going to go into Yazi. We're going to go Baron to pop the Yazi. And let's go straight into Taiye. Or, or, sorry, Mare Mare. We're going to do some Mare Mare combos. This is why the deck is so insane going second with the Sudo. And Harmonizing is a one... They're all one-card Yazis. And Taiye is a one-card Yazi with Emergence. And Yazi Mare Mare in a 60-card deck is just so absurd. We're going to Dragon Shrine to get a free Synchro 7 to gate here. We're going to go Shooting Riser to send Fairy Tail Snow. Yes, Fairy Tail Snow. 60 card deck. We're resolving in this combo. You always send Snow to the graveyard. Uh, so we're going to, with these two, sadly, we did not open any Zephras. Otherwise, we'd have Divine Strike as well. Uh, we're going to do the combo a little inadvertently, like this, uh, versus how it is normally. Normally, we go Needle Fiber Oridon. But uh, because we have so many monsters in the field, we won't be able to resolve the Oridon. Uh, so at this point, we go Needle Fiber to summon a, a just summon this for later. And now at this point, okay, just so you guys are all aware, uh, typically we should have a Divine Strike. Needle Fiber can bring up Formula Synchron to bring a Satellite Warrior, and we have Fairy Tail Snow for infinite interruptions. So GG, honestly GG, this duel's over. This is the new deck, this is the new deck. It's a OTK version of Luna Light with Scareclaw, and it's very cool, but as you guys are going to see, there's really just no chance for our deck to lose here. This, I mean, <laughs> this deck is truly absolutely absurd. You guys need to stay tuned for the whole video to see this. Uh, this is absurd. Typically, we have a Divine Strike set, and I didn't even use Needle Fiber to sum up Formula because I didn't put—I forgot to put in my extra deck at this point. But this deck's truly absurd, dude. I'm actually gonna let him pop my field. I have a free interruption here with She Shao that I'm not using because I don't know what he's gonna go for in, in main phase two. So I'm letting him clear the cards that he could clear because I don't care. Because I know next turn we're just gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm letting him clear those uh, small monsters because we don't care for those. Um, and I keep my She Shao interruption. Now we draw our Zephra, and this is just game, dude. This is just like this deck is absurd. This deck is absurd. You, what you guys are about to witness in game number two over here, uh, right after this uh, OTK, is truly, like, outstanding. It's truly outstanding what you guys are about to witness. Uh, like, this deck, I firmly believe it's the best way to play Pendulums. I firmly believe so. And you guys are going to see how. Like, look at my hand. Like, you are truly going to need, like, five effect veilers and five impermanences to stop me. And you only have six cards in hand. And you still won't be able to stop me with ten, ten hand traps, bro. Like, even Nibiru, this deck just blitzkrieg's through Nibiru. Because by the time I put up a negate for Nibiru, then uh, it doesn't matter. Like, we still keep going. So look at this. He's going to put up Baron to floor. He's going to get a huge follow-up for his next turn. But now look at this. So this is your hand, right? Like, look. Summon Ecclesia, right? Summon Moye, right? Summon Moye, reveal Emergence. Negate that with Baron. Like, do we, does it look like we care? Like, look at this. Like, like look at my hand advantage. And just think to yourself... How many interruptions this deck could play around? Just just literally just think to yourself. How many interruptions this deck could truly play around? Are we have we have the Sudo, we have Taye, we have Pen Summon. Like I'm literally waiting for him to negate one of these so I could just summon Mare Mare. We have Yazi Mare Mare with Dragon Shrine. Like it's truly absurd. It's truly absurd how many interruptions this deck can play around. Like literally, literally think about it. Like think about it for yourselves. He could have any he a bureau to me right now. I don't. I literally, for the life of me, couldn't give a less of a fuck. Your pendulum summoning five times. You have five cards in hand right now. You have a fairy tale snow and graveyard. Oh my goodness.
Cupid pitch in this deck is absurd. Like the combo in this deck is absurd. And there's just 90 different ways to do your combo depending on what you have in your hand and depending on what interruption your opponent has. And for the first time in a long, long time for Pendulums, this deck has a bunch of one card combos. Look at this. Oh my god. This is just beautiful. This is truly beautiful. It's absolutely absurd. Baxia, like this could go forever. Moye, like, dude, this deck, we have Oath Add. We, after all this, we have four cards in hand. Like, after all this, we have four, like, <laughs> this deck is just truly absurd. I'm going to show you guys the deck list now. This deck is absurd, man. This deck is truly absurd. So this is the deck list. Uh, you, it, it's 60 cards, and a lot of noobs are going to look at 60 and be like, Oh my god, 60, bro, you're going to break, bro, 60 cards, bro. Shut the heck up, bro. It doesn't matter if you play 40, 60, 90. It doesn't matter. The idea of this deck, it's actually impossible to break. I've witnessed, I've showcased this on a Master Duel tournament for Distant Coder. I was playing the same deck without Sword Soul and Master Duel with Dang Long. And I opened a hand of Despot 01, O Lion, Mare Mare, Gate Zero. I opened those four. I opened those four. My chat could, uh, literally, my Twitch chat saw this live. I opened Despot 01, I opened O Lion, I opened Gate Zero, and Mare Mare. My opponent had it in permanence. How many negates do you think I put up? I opened those four. My opponent had impermanence. I put up three negates through impermanence. I put up three negates through impermanence with a big fat board. The reason why this deck never bricks is because you have something called a pendulum summon. You have a pendulum summon. There is a reason why you play gate zero and there's a reason why you play this DD God scale zero. They're both scale zeros. And they're so easily accessible via your entire deck. You have like seven ways to DD God. You have five ways to gate zero. You have so many ways to, uh, more than five, because of Dragon Arena, eight ways to, to gate zero. They're all scale zero. So if you were to happen to draw your uh, any card you deem a brick, you just pen summon them out, and they don't become a brick. They become a monster to needle fiber with. They become a tuner. It's impossible for this deck to brick. I opted not to play hand traps because post side deck, we're able to side in so many kills, like Mystic Mine, you have terraforming and set rotation to get mystic minds against back row decks you have trickstar light stage which will single-handedly destroy back row decks after turn three like it'll get rid of your their entire sets so i opted to play blowouts going second versus hand traps but this deck can very 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 easily play hand traps if you wanted it to uh this is like this, these cards are truly absurd together truly impossible to brick and i think uh, allowing destrudo and uh, snow live in the same format is absurd i think they're, they're such broken cards with needle fiber and that's why in the combo that we had, we made sure to make it so in the combo, the typical combo, the needle fiber combo, I'll showcase it in a later video, but you go needle fiber or it on. This is just any way to needle fiber. So you look at your deck, one harmonizing, one DD Kepler, like all the sword soul cards do it because if you go back, see a send tuner, bring a tuner, like there's a billion ways to do this throughout your entire hand deck like everything zephyrus by itself do it zephraxi target zephyrnoia full combo like your whole deck does this the idea of the deck is before you needle fiber combo or after depending on what your hand is you bait all your opponent's interruptions first you set up a bear in the floor and then you go for the oridon combo depending on what it is so what you're gonna do the combo needle fiber oridon you bring up oh it's just so beautiful honestly it's i'm at a loss for words for how genius this deck is it's truly absolutely incredible uh, the combo essentially ends on shooting Riser Dragon to send Fairy Tail Snow. The Fairy Tail Snow will be able to resolve twice because at the end of the combo you have 14 cards in Graveyard. And we end on a board of Baron de Floor, Savage, Divine Strike, uh, Baron de Floor, Savage, Divine Strike, Dragster, and then whatever your Pendulum Summon is. It's like absolutely absurd. You guys will see, I'll be doing a lot of videos on this deck because this is the deck I'll be climbing. I know this sounds insane, but I... <laughs> And I love Master Duel, I really do. But there's also times I'm going to be playing Dueling Book Rated. And this is the deck I'll be climbing Dueling Book Rated with. So that's it for today's video. If you guys love this deck and want to see more, let me know in the comments. Because I think this deck is absolutely insane. I think it has the potential to... It's already better than Sword Soul. Sword Soul lost Protoss. Birds lost so much in their deck. Drytron don't have Ava. This deck is just, like, absolutely insane. And post side deck, when we get hit with any deck like the, the it's the only deck that could side so many amazing cards so anyway th this deck's truly absurd hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys got this far make sure to smash the subscribe button smash the like button make sure to go check out the play match on trifgaming.com because they're absolutely beautiful lastly if you want to get better Yu Gi Oh, check out my patreon down below daily content on master duel and just by default for tcg players you also learn a lot for that hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys next video peace